At the moment, it seems to be a bit of a troubling trend that more and more YouTubers are quitting. And I'd like to use this opportunity to announce that I am also quitting YouTube at the end of this month. Just kidding. No, no, I'm, I'm here to stay. I haven't even, I've only been doing YouTube 12 years. That's, that's nothing. But to be honest, like I'm 26 now. I always see myself when I get to around 30, not necessarily quitting, but like not doing YouTube as much, you know, like, like just kind of doing it as and when and not taking it so serious. Whether that happens when I get to 30, I might be like, nah, I want to keep going, you know. I still want to get to 10 million subscribers, so I don't know if I'll get there in the next four years, you know. So we'll just see. But um, yeah, it's interesting that a lot of, a lot of YouTubers are at the moment deciding, you know, enough's enough. It's time to step back. They've done what they wanted to do and they they, they want to, you know, do other things in life. And Philip DeFranco talked about this on his show, so I'm, I'm going to watch it and see see what he has to say. This is obviously someone who's been been around a while. It's a, it's a, yeah, it should be a good video. Let's, let's check it out. of YouTube staple, Matt Pat. And even if you're not personally Yeah, that's what kind with... of, uh, you know, caught a lot of attention, him retiring, but Tom Scott did the same thing. I mean, Matt Pat, in my opinion, love him as a YouTuber. Love Game Theory videos, been watching him for years and years, and he's very, very good at what he does, and he's, you know, Kept kept doing very successfully on YouTube, and if he stay, if he carried on, I'm sure he would continue to do successfully. The channels are going to continue though, and I'm sure he'll do well. They'll still do well. With him, this is an important story because it does feel like it's becoming part of a growing trend. He's behind the it 18 is. and a half million subscriber, the Game Theorist channel. That's in addition to three other massively successful channels. Yeah, he runs his other channels as well, doesn't he? Which is different is crazy. verticals: film theorists, food theorists. I, I love film theory as well. I didn't even know about style theorists uh, until last week. Crying. It's probably connected to the video that got released yesterday, with Matt uploading a video titled Goodbye Internet, announcing that his last day hosting Game Theorist will be in March. And in it, you know, saying that he's going to miss yeah, doing it. Yeah, counting down. Adding that he it was a very emotional video. I, I, I'm not saying I found it hard to watch, but I found it sad to watch that how much it means to him. I don't know what I'd be like if I was making that video and say that I'm, I'm finishing with YouTube. Whether I would be sad, but I would be sad, but would I be uh, super emotional about it? Or would I be like, I've done what I want to do, and, and that's it. But yeah, it's... um. It is, it is. It was sad to watch. I mean, I, I didn't watch it. I didn't really record myself watching it. I just watched it. But it was, it was sad I, I, to, to see because you know how much it means to him, and he's, you know, he's, he's an amazing YouTuber. I always knew this time would come. We knew that we couldn't do this forever. We knew that honestly, we didn't want to do this forever. For as much as I love you, I, and I, you love know, what the biggest thing I didn't realize, he's thirty-seven. Matt Pat, thirty-seven. I thought it was like late twenties, early thirties, and YouTubers are getting Overthinking older. Overthinking things, and I love theorizing. YouTube's been around a while. I don't love late nights. I don't love the fact that Steph and I have been work first for over a decade. That is, that is true though, YouTuber. It consumes your thoughts. You stay up late to get videos done. You think about YouTube all the time. Did not talk new, but no, that was me. <laughs> oh no. He wants to be able to go to a dinner with a friend and not be thinking about business. To be able to enjoy things. Like it could be a movie or a game and not think, how can I turn this into content? To be able to spend more time That's true. with his- That's true. You know, I, I, since I started doing YouTube, I don't play video games for fun anymore because I'm always like, oh, I could, I could make a video of this. I could stream it. Like, and, and I, I'm like, oh, I sh I'm on my computer. I shouldn't be gaming on my computer. I should be recording or making a bit. It's weird. It really does. I can understand it. And I, I'm happy with that. And I, I, you know, I enjoy everything about it. But, you know, I'm sure it, over time for a lot of people, it, it takes its toll. But to be successful, you have to be like that. You have to, it has to consume you and you have to put everything into YouTube. Otherwise, you, you, you're probably not going to make it. Um, and, and that's why someone like Matt Pat is so successful because he's always talking about it, you know, always thinking about it. Same with any other successful YouTuber generally. His kid, because you never get that time back. Though notably, he then goes on in the end of the video to detail other things that he'll end up working on. It's just that it's more behind the scenes, right? In the back. So he's gonna, yeah, he'll still, he's not retiring from all work, but he's more behind the scenes. The risky thing is that he's gonna be passing the big hosting duties off. It's not going to one person, but rather four. I would not wish my schedule on anyone. Like, sure, I'm willing to not- That's interesting how he's doing it with four different people like to fill the job that he's been doing. This along. That's how much work he's been doing. He's been doing four do people's to work. More sustainable for them. So in response to this, as expected, fans were shocked. They were devastated. Also, many people expressing their thanks for all the years of content and entertainment. Yeah, the I think I feel like his videos are one place. that anybody so enjoys watching. That's into gaming or films and stuff. Was for Maybe a lot of people, it's really not that shocking. Matt's video actually follows a ton of other creators who have announced similar things. Even reference the likes of Tom Scott, who posted a video last week with Tom there saying after. I didn't expect Tom Scott. To, I, I mean, I don't personally really watch him. I've watched the odd video, but I don't really watch him. But I didn't expect him to quit. Still a job, and it's a job that keeps getting bigger and more complicated. I'm so tired. There's nothing in my life right now except work. Also, looking into it, in addition to the video, he spoke to That's The Guardian true. with him saying there he only barely avoided burnout, according to changes on YouTube as a platform impacting it. Especially you know what's interesting? 
I don't think I've ever, ever come close to experiencing burnout. I don't know if it's just the way I am. Maybe one day I will, but I just love YouTube so much making videos that I've never, I've never really got to a point where I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm tired of this and I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, you know what I mean? I've just never, never had that. So I, I'm kind of very glad about my personality and I'm, I'm that way. But I think it is a problem that on YouTube, you used to be able to, uh, for me, I used to be able to spend 20 minutes on a video recording it straight through. I then used to be able to spend five minutes on editing it because I knew what had happened. I just recorded it. I added a bit of music to the intro, a bit of music to the outro and and cut off like the bit, the beginning and the end. And that was the video. And you know, I could, I could knock out like six videos in a day easily. And, and now to, to do like for me, my main channel videos, a hardcore video takes at least a week of, of recording. And that's like a lot of like, it's a lot of a long days of recording and up till, uh, you know, midnight recording or like a 14 hour nonstop session of, of recording. And, and then my editor sometimes has to stay up all night. Uh, it doesn't have to, but it ends up staying up all night just to meet the deadline, you know, and stuff like that. And and like, it, it's tough to, to, to keep it with YouTube, to be successful, to have the quality that's needed and to keep going. And especially now that long form video views are dropping across YouTube as more and more people watch shorts. It's it's a it's a weird dynamic, really. Um, so you know maybe maybe that's what these YouTubers also say that they can't keep going bigger and better and bigger and better, and they don't want to commit to shorts as well as their videos to stay relevant because that's that's even more work. Especially as there's been this whole new emphasis on short form content. Oh, here we go. It's just going to say what I've just TikTok. said. <laughs> and Tom's saying with that, it feels like a lot of people who've been making long form videos have recently announced not retirements, but reductions, step back. Saying just to keep up, you've got to you've got to keep going. Yeah, I need to get on shots. I've, I've got a plan. It's just the time. I don't have the time. Where is the threat from junk zero effort generative AI channels that are only. Oh, yeah, that is true as well. AI. AI is going to be able to make videos. Pretty soon, AIs are going to be making videos that are just... Like, already they make, there's a lot of AI content out there. Soon AI, yeah, it's getting better and better. It's going to make videos. You, you probably won't be able to tell, especially if it's a faceless YouTuber. You won't be able to tell, which again is worrying. Especially if AI can start playing Minecraft and recording it or playing games and recording... You know, that, that could be crazy. ...mass of competing video options, I think it's going to be a difficult few years. And again, his difficult world few years. Really is just one of a bunch of... Other yeah, Captain Sparkle, Stampy, yeah. Back. And as far as my takeaway with all of this, I absolutely get all of it. Like every single aspect... He's been a while, a while around for a long time as Philip DeFranco, so he will understand. ...positive. I saw some people clowning on him because he was crying. My reaction to that is, how the hell do you not get emotional? Like, I can't... Yeah, like, that's been, like, a massive part of his life for years. Of course he's going to be emotional. Platform. I get it. In two years, in 2026, I will have been on this platform for 20 years. Years. That's not only oh my goodness, my life, it is my whole 20 adult years. life. And when I started, like a lot of people early on, we couldn't even make How old is Philip DeFranco? 38, so he's around the same age as Matt Pat. So he started when he was 18. Yeah. Wow, it's a massive we part like, of his life. Wow, I'm going to throw this on the internet. And all of a sudden, we had this community and we grew that community together. And it's part of the reason why, especially I think for a lot of us old schoolers, there's a there's somewhat of a parasocial connection with a lot of people. So when you take that connection, or really, I don't see how you do anything for that long and then you change it up and not get emotional. Also, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. I, I, maybe I will. Get yeah, emotional then. I don't know if I would or not, but creators. maybe I would. So for people who are self-employed, they're the, the thing is, I think they... until you actually do it. For me, like for me, again, my entire adult life, I've done YouTube. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm 12 years younger than uh, Phil DeFranco, but I started this when I was 14, and you know, and I've been doing Minecraft since 2016. I think it's been a job since 2018. So actually, I got those dates wrong. I started in 2012 when I was 14. I started Minecraft when I was 16, and then it's been a job since i was 18 but i was 18 in 2016 i think that's right yeah anyway i forget the dates a long time that's all i've been so i've been doing this as a job for eight years madness anyway let's continue watching it's, it's not about me i ain't quitting okay but it's it's um yeah i just feel like i've got so much more to do on youtube i guess some people feel like they've done everything they want to I run suppose. companies 99.9 .9 of the stress and problems in your life are your own fault. You have complete control over them. Right? Like I'm the one forcing myself to work this number of hours per week. I, I guess I'm that the is one true. Who has forced myself to shoot through being sick the past three days. Whereas people that work for me, rightly so, can take that time off. It becomes very. E That's true. You know, when you when you when when I'm in that for, for me, I'm in that position. I work when I'm ill. I work until the job is done. If I have to be up till two a.m. doing something to finish it. You know, I have I have different things to do with merch and all and, and, and stuff like that. Like, I, I get whatever has to be done, done. And I can understand, like, I, I've inflicted that on myself. You know, I've got an office and everything. And, <laughs> and I, yeah, so, but I enjoy it. But it cannot, it could all just go away if I just said, you know what? I could, I'd, I'll just go back to recording videos in my bedroom by myself with no one else, one editor, and just upload whenever I feel like it. And 
I'd probably still have enough, you know, I'd make enough to, to, to be able to live and everything and life could be easy. But you know what? I enjoy all of this and I enjoy the stress that comes with it, I guess. <laughs> easy to push yourself to an unhealthy place because you are incentivized and rewarded for it. And at the same time, in a lot of places, you're penalized for taking a break. And so whether it be I guess a, you a are, number of you things, are penalized for taking a break, failure, yeah. it's just so ingrained in us that success just equals more, more, more. You see a number of creators over the years just implode and then disappear. Or the unfortunate thing is I feel like, uh, I don't know if it's become more manageable, but a lot of creators that you're just like, oh, I love their content coming out with videos that like every one to three years, like saying, I'm immensely sad. And it is directly. It's true. Like some YouTubers just out on this upload platform. very so rarely because and that's how they, they want to do it. Open about this and having having the guts to make a change because change is scary. Whether you're leaving completely, you're taking a massive break, or you're replacing yourself. Because while the people replacing Matt, right? They they've written there. They have very close connections. You never know how that swap's gonna go. You never know how any. You never know. I mean, gonna... I don't personally. I would be surprised if Game Theory has the same success that it has now because for me i don't know what other people are like i watch game theory film theory i watch these i don't really watch the other food theory or style theory but i watch game theory and food theory when it's matt pat like i, I watch it when it's him because I, I i know that's the name of his channel but i, I i'm I, it, i'd like watching him as the youtube's videos and, and when it, it there's a there's a, a on the game theory channel a video with somebody else commentating I don't tend to watch it. And that's not because it's a bad video. It's not that they're bad. It's just that I like Matt Pat. And I like his video. And it's, it's a weird connection, really. But I don't think... I, I, I can't be the only one that thinks like that. I would be very surprised if there's the same success for the channel of, of, of game theory and film theory. But I don't know. Because obviously the, the videos they make appeal to a very wide audience. So... Yeah, we'll we'll see with that. But that's that's my personal uh, personal opinion. It's very hard to change the host of you know the main face of a channel and keep it keep it going. Maybe this is one of the ones that could get away with it because of how it goes. But you know, if Mr. Beast gave his chance to someone else and somebody else was presenting it, I think that would lose views. If I gave my chance to somebody else and they were the one playing Minecraft, of course it would lose views. You know, you 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 identify with the YouTuber, the person themselves, and it's very difficult to replace them. But really, in the coming weeks and months, I would not be surprised if we saw a lot more people coming out with videos like this but for the reasons interesting about he thinks more video, people are gonna are gonna say this kind of thing that tom expanded on regarding the platform's changing especially with the astronomical rise of the low to no effort faceless channels and then there's just the content themes i saw someone unironically make a video the other day where they're like hey you want to be big on tiktok and make some money and they just showed themselves stealing a joke from a comedy series and then also stealing gameplay footage and pairing it and uploading it and i was watching it and i was like wait the scene Secret is just theft. That's that's the secret to, to to success on TikTok and shorts. Just take somebody else's gameplay, take some jokes from uh, like yeah, a comedy a comedy show, and then a stand up comedian, and just play them side by side, and people will watch. And I can understand, yeah, just just steal people's steal other people's content and repurpose it. Yeah, transformative because they're stealing two things and playing. Really, that's how it works. If you. Take two things and put them together, it's transformed. Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, but at the same time, like, it makes you wonder what the hell is happening. But with all that said, I'd love to people hear watch it. And, and these things push what people watch. We talked about. Let me know what you're feeling in those comments down below. Interesting, interesting video. We shall see where, where YouTube goes next, I suppose. But I'm not leaving, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I could say. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere.